Please. So we, we, we always think of you as, as a moderate Muslim, an American guy. You served 11 years in the American Navy. Now this. Is, does Islam have a basic problem with gays? It looks like Islam does. Straighten it out if you can. Well, certainly the leadership and most of the interpretations that dominate our faith community are homophobic and still in the 12th and 13th century, but they also have a problem with any vulnerable minority and when it comes to women, vulnerable majorities too. So the bottom line is, is that Islamism is a supremacist theocratic mentality in Iran and with ISIS, they throw gays off the cliffs and we need to recognize that and it's amazing how hypocritical President Obama is and we called him out on this in February when he went to that mosque in Baltimore we said how bizarre is it for you to go to a mosque that just had a sermon that had an homophobic screed a year ago that violates all of the principles you would hold the Christian community accountable for right. and yet he ignored it and now we see this in Florida there have been sermons from imams in that area that were homophobic and yet there's no connection that anyone wants to make in the administration, academia or otherwise, between that homophobia and the violence that happens from ISIS against gays, against Jews, against women. So there's an obvious question here. Why should America bring in more people who do not share our values and some of those people are now actively killing us? Why should we bring well, any I more Muslims into our country? We should stop all immigration until we have the vetting process, just as he said earlier. But to say just stop Muslims, they could lie against their faith. Again, we, when it just sort of becomes a, a, a process or a policy that doesn't have a solution yet. The solution is to create clearances and a vetting process against Islamism and jihadism. And once we do that, then you can start to have... I mean. Our biggest threat is actually the Muslims that are internal, that are in homeland security, in, in military, et cetera, that have not been vetted for their loyalty to the global movement of political Islam and jihadism. And until we can do that, that same process that we've actually articulated in our Muslim reform movement in a two-page declaration, Muslims that signed that declaration that, by the way, includes a recognition of sexual identity as being equality. If Muslims sign that, then they can be part of the solution and can be vetted for clearances. If they don't, then they are part of the problem and should not have any security clearances or be allowed entry into our, mm. our hallowed uh, country. Zudi Jassa, thank you very much for joining us. Again, it's a difficult day and we appreciate you being with us.